Hey. Welcome. Welcome. Mega Needs Show. We're live here at Sonic Garden. Uh, don't forget to like and share. Tell your friends. Subscribe. Subscribe. Smash it. Smash it. <laughs> Smash it. <laughs> so, uh, we got some updates on this uh, coronavirus. We're on a little bit of a lockdown kind of right now. Social distancing. And uh, we're doing our part. As you can see, Josh is uh, solo at the desk today. We got uh, Chris over in his uh, cockpit on the stage. And uh, I'm coming to you from the back control room. And, uh, you know, we're trying to keep this baby uh, sanitary, clean. And we are uh, wiping shit down. I brought in some... uh, Hospital grade, um, you know, wipes there. Looks like Josh. Yeah, right next to you, Josh. You can uh, hold those up. Those are some good alcohol. You know, they burn the paint right off of stuff. So, yeah, you know, man. take it easy on those babies. But, yeah, uh, then you got to lotion up, lube up your keep hands. It all clean. So, hey, you're listening to Sonic Gardens Radio. This is the Mang and Need Show. Uh, Apocalypse Edition, End of the World Podcast Daily. Uh, we are really trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and we think that we can pull it off if we have your help. So please, uh, once again, if you can like and subscribe to our uh, our channel, hit that little bell so that you get the updates and notifications. We're running a daily live uh, podcast. You can see any of the things uh, that we've done already um, are in the archives. And uh, it's some pretty good stuff. So check it out. Over 100 videos. And uh, like I said, we're looking for 1,000 subscribers. So please Winner invite gets a free your shirt. friends. Number 1,000 uh, gets a free shirt. And uh, share this. You know, like, um, hey, you know, we're just doing our thing. And uh, right now, it's perfect for it. So, thanks for tuning in. This is Sonic Gardens Radio. We're going to give, um, I'm going to switch this baby into the back here. in the middle of his song. Oh, really? 
All right, here we go. So uh, you're back, Josh. It's on you. All right. Back to our main desk here. Uh, May and Need show here. Don't forget to subscribe. So, so we're. Uh, oh, sorry. What do you got for updates? Well, buddy? the the U.S. is now up to uh, six thousand uh, cases. They've topped it um, of the virus, coronavirus. That is. Um. So uh, Trump, he made another speech again today. Um, he's gonna hand out money. They're borrowing more money from. We don't even know where it's coming from, do we? Uh, I believe they borrow it from the uh, Federal Reserve, and and they just have they have like, to pay back uh, interest. Yeah, they do. You know, whenever they borrow, that's like uh, that's how it goes. Um, I think it's a. Uh, I think it was crazy. I think the um they so what he did, he put. F- what was it? Five hundred. Uh, billion or or 1.5 I don't know man but it was gone in an hour and threw more in and now giving money to the people I don't know it's tough man the whole situation I don't know can we run down the uh, so I I just so happen to run across this list since uh, and I don't I haven't looked at it yet so it would be a surprise to me can we run through the uh top 10 worst u.s presidents oh sure can we do that sure all right so uh at number 10 um ben- to, i should find this uh list here and pull it up myself huh? yeah uh benjamin uh harrison is the uh number 10 actually who the, um who the hell was that he he was he died in uh March 13th, 1901. He was a president from 1889 to 1893. So, um, so was that like, that wasn't too long after Lincoln, right? I'm sorry, what year did you say? I said, uh, 1889 to 1893. Um, what what was the name of your your clip here? Because I can pull it up. It is t- the top ten worst presidents. Yes. Politics, U.S. news. Yes. All right. It's in a list. Did you see it or no? I'm getting there. Yeah. All right. I just went to number two, and then that started off first. It was like some introduction. So introduction. Uh, oh yeah, I got you. Special number afternoon. Cast of uh, Manganese Show. Um, s- live from Sonic Garden. This is Sonic Garden Radio. Hell yeah. If you get a second and you're watching this and you're a YouTube person, subscribe. Sonic Gardens. We're just right, one so click away. So, what do you think here? So, we're on here. So, we're on. We're on. Uh, this guy was the grandson of. Uh, Former President William Henry Harrison. Oh. So, uh, yeah, he was terrible. He was number 10. Um, Moving on. They had a hell of a panic in uh, 1893, and this guy's uh, economic policies are believed to what contributed to it. So uh, that's why he's number 10. Then your boy. Uh, <laughs> are we moving on? Yeah, we're going to move on. All who, right. Who you got for me now? Number nine, we yeah. have uh, Chester A. Arthur. Tell us a little bit about Chester so A. Arthur. So Arthur, he's one of uh, only a handful of American leaders who did not win a presidential election at the top of his party's ticket. Um, so another, uh, can, wait, explain. Um. Well, so he's like they, uh, oh, a uh, uh, contested convention. Yeah. He stepped in. All right, so the, basically what he got in there for is, remember our buddy uh, James Garfield? Yeah. He got killed. Got whacked by, yeah. uh, man, I wish I remember that fucking, go- that guy's Gutenberg or Judor something. or Jude or so, uh, something like that. But anyways... So when Garfield got killed in 1881, Arthur stepped in. Uh, he failed to gain gain any any uh, support from the Republican Party. Um, he 
Yeah, G- so the GOP, they went, they, they threw their support behind James Blaine. James Blaine, and he didn't win it. No, because uh, Grover, Cle- Grover Cleveland they were running against. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, they couldn't do it. They could not beat him. All right. Well, moving on. Let's see. Chester, number eight of the worst presidents in U.S. history. Drum roll, number eight. Number eight. We're going to go with (laughs) Herbert Hoover. Fucking Herbert Hoover. So he he died in 1964. (laughs) Yeah. So, uh... He was a poor communicator. Yeah, he Fueled was. Fueled trade wars and exacerbated the Great Dis- the Great Depression. Chris, you tell me. It was playing. It's playing still, but. I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, all right. Um. So after Herbert, Herbert was number eight. Uh, remember, we're going over the worst presidents, real quick, just to run through just a run through all right our uh, next worst president so it skips right from number this is uh oh yeah I wonder eight what happened to six there. eight to six i guess that other guy was bad enough he to was be fucking terrible. seven in eight and we got ty john tyler john tyler and they called him ty so uh what did he fuck up he was a stalwart defender yeah. of slavery who abandoned oh. his party platform once he was president. Oh, yeah. Um, pneumonia got him 30 days after he was sworn into office. I don't know what it did to him, but it got him. <laughs> Seriously. Whacked him. He... uh he used to pr- he, he supported old uh, Andrew Jackson's crusade. And yeah, he was terrible. Oh, he was uh He was hooked up with the Whig party. The Whig, huh? Whigger. Yeah. And he hooked up with uh the war hero Harrison. And yeah. He went on to be our president for eight years. No, how long? His term was 41 to 45. Only made four it four years. years. Yeah, he he's didn't even have a vice president. That's how cool this motherfucker was. <laughs> he's going to be, uh, there's going to be another four. Oh, four so there's two number sixes. Up. They tied for six. That's why there's not a seven. Ah, another tie. Yeah. Oh, wait. Get it? Tie. <laughs> get it? You I get thought it? they called him that. Because his name was Tyler. Yeah, the, you get it? Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this guy was uh, born in uh, 1800, and he served in uh, 1850 to 1853 and also did not have a vice president. Yeah. He backed the compromise of 1850 that delayed the Southern succession by allowing save slavery to spread. He was born in central New York. Did you know that? Right in a log cabin. Oh, wow. Fucking A. All right, moving on. He was into the wig party, too, man. These guys were all... They Wigs. Looked, they, they liked it. So, number five. Oh, Bill's in there. William Henry Harrison. He was uh, 1773, this man was born. So, he listen, was, he, he's, he, the first Harrison we had is related to this Harrison. The first Harrison we had went at, went well after uh, William, though. So uh, he had the longest inaugural address in U.S. history. He also came down with a pneumonia 30 days. It's like a fucking... You get voted into presidency back then, you get pneumonia. <laughs> All right. Who else we got here? We're looking at... Uh the 10 worst presidents in U.S. history. I don't know who this is really according to, but I imagine. I, ma- I imagine at the beginning of the list, we're going to have somebody that is irrelevant. Warren G. Harding. He was the president from 1921 to 1923. And again, a three-year oh, term for this man. His vice president was Mr. Calvin Coolidge. 
avid golfer and poker player. His administration is perhaps best remembered for its litany of corruption and scandals. Warren G. Harding. Number three. Franklin Pierce. Franklin Pierce. He served as our president of this, these great United States in uh, 1853 to 1857. And his uh, vice president was Billy King. Believe it or not. Really? Billy, huh? Billy King. William R. William. I think it's actually Billy Dick King. Billy Dick King. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Dick. <laughs> I'm not sure what the R is for, but I imagine it's Richard. So William Richard King. William better known Richard as Queen. Better King. known as Bill Dick. Bill Dick. <laughs> Ooh. So wait. So what? What were you? What number were you on? I'm on three. Oh, Franklin Pierce. Yeah. Yeah. With fucking. Uh, he staged this. He uh. Uh. Expanding the borders, thereby adding several slave states, helping set the stage for the Civil War. Yeah, them fucking assholes. Yo, there was a. You know, I know that uh, you like you you're, you you uh, like the Civil War, like you don't like it, but you like uh, reading about it or something. I like to know about it and know, like how know how fucked up those people so were. So our buddy there with uh, Sam Onella, he's got one that's like um, that's like, it's called. Uh, Civil War oversimplified, and he just breaks it down in one of those those videos. Pretty cool. Sam Monella. Um, number two, Mr. Andrew Johnson. Oh boy. Johnson survived impeachment. Yes, he did. After opposing Reconstruction initiatives, including the Fourteenth Amendment. What is the Fourteenth Amendment? Do you know this, Josh? Um. Let's see. The Fourteenth Amendment. Chris, we need your expertise right now. Well, seven plus seven. Fourteen. Seven All right. times two. He's right. Yeah. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Minus two. All right, let's move on to the worst president. Who do we think it's going to be? Let's do so a little section, quick, quick So the quick 14th vote. Amendment is, uh, oh, it's about uh, persons born or naturalized in the United Sa States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and the United States wherein they reside. That's just the beginning. That's way too long for us to go through. They, re they revisited it and, re and added to it in 1992, if that tells you anything. And who was our president then? It had to be a bush, huh? Where are we at? How come there's still uh, 16 pages to go? Oh, I don't... I'm... I'm uh, 10 of 16. Yeah. So, number one. Number one. Number one. Ooh, easy. Easy. James Buchanan. He was terrible. He was awful, so they say. Well, he had actually... He had John Breckenridge in there. It looks like... Uh, his reason, so he served in 1857 to 1861, which puts it right before Mr. Civil War. Yes. He refused to challenge either the spread of slavery or the growing block of states that became the Confederacy. So there you go, James Buchanan. He's the worst. Dishonorable mentions. We get uh, G.W. Bush. Ooh. Tied with, Zachary tied with Taylor Zach for the Taylor. 11th worst. Richard Nixon was the 15th. Jimmy Carter was the 18th worst president. Your boy Gerald Ford was and the 19th. And Gerald Ford huh? was the 19th. Not ranked. Guess who's not ranked? Not ranked is DJT, Mr. Donald Trump. He was born in June 17, 1946. Trump was not included in the U.S. news rankings, but that hasn't stopped some historians from wondering where he will rank among America's best and worst in the White House. They don't like ranking you while you're still in there because you can still fuck shit up, right? If you're, like, high ranking, 
You know what I mean? You still got time to f- fuck up your whole ranking, right? Yeah. That would be the thought in the. So there's our official list. Uh, quickly was um, from the top worst to the least worst, according to. So I wonder if it's like so you got William Henderson and Benjamin Harrison. The Wait, same Harrison? family. No, I'm oh, just yeah, saying because too. I wonder they were in the same. They definitely were because it said when we talked about Benjamin that his oh. uncle, or I think it was his uncle, William. It's worse. Okay. Yeah, it was even shittier than he was. I can't. I really don't. I. I mean, there was a time when I think. Uh, do you notice how we they rejected these uh, these authoritarian uh, people that you were noti- just there for the the business? You notice how time. most or most I think all of them are before the 1900s. Like they don't have any president. Like you're telling, yeah. Like one of like one of the craziest stories to me that I had heard was. Um, how Teddy Roosevelt got into the presidency, and that was because his uh, he was he was a Republican, but he was hugely outspoken um, against big business, and right. that was obviously the big thing with him. And that was not a, a stance of uh, of the administration in the Republican Party. They were um, they were basically letting the Rockefellers and um, you know, the, uh, uh, JP Morgan, you know, all these, like, uh, all these guys like run the country and along came this movement from Teddy Roosevelt that actually got people stirred up and he would, you know, shout and almost like a, uh, a Bernie type attitude. I mean, very different, but yes. you know, that was definitely one of his things. And, uh, I mean, cause he was also a war hungry guy like to like he was, you know, uh, Navy uh, commander, I believe. Which Roosevelt are you talking about? Theodore? Theodore. Yeah. So, so he, so basically in those days, if someone became the vice president, that was where it ended. And I think if you looked at all these older days, uh, vice presidents never became presidents. That was kind of like a new thing because of uh, familiarity and facial recognition, these kind of things where, same reason why Biden's at the top of the ticket when you know, we, nobody can even really say where he stands on anything. And, uh, you know, just because he was Obama's vice president. So, Well, that carries a lot of weight these days. These days, but then it didn't. So right. their, their solution for getting rid of him and his, his movement and his problems were to make him the VP. And he accepted it. And then that dude, McKinley, got whacked. Whacked. By so, Roosevelt probably had it done. Who knows? <laughs> so then all of a sudden, Teddy was in charge, and it flipped the whole the whole dealio. Um, so I wonder if he actually got ranked for good, but that was a that was a pretty cool one. Old Teddy. He came to Norwich once, you know. Yeah, he did. Back in the day. Visited our Moby beautiful Dick little town. Minnow. All right, so uh, remember, you're listening to Sonic Garden Radio. This is Mang and Need Show. Don't forget to subscribe if you get a second. Um, so what song? You, you got a song for us? Ange? I do. Uh, I what got do you a song. Got? I got a song from our recording the other. Uh, so the this other is night. from Shaka. This is a live. Oh, I I uh, forgot to switch this camera over. But uh, yeah, so I got a live recording of um, of Shaka performing our song. No tomorrow. All right, so everybody. So. Uh, um, sit back, relax, enjoy this one. Um, this Again, is again uh, Shaka live at Sonic Gardens, eh, recorded a uh, uh, Sunday night. So I guess uh, five five days ago. I don't know what the date is. Whatever. Right. Here we go. No All tomorrow. Right. Hope you enjoy. Make a neat show. This song is called No Tomorrow. Perfect for this day and age. We don't know how many people are gonna survive Corona. So live life like there's no tomorrow.
Need show. All right, that was uh, Shaka performing No Tomorrow live at Sonic Gardens right here in our studio. In fact, right behind that green screen is where that took place. Right behind where Josh is sitting right now. Right behind. Chris, what you got going on, bud? It's not working. What's not? Nice uh, stuff. Well, I heard you. You're not playing? Yeah. Okay. I'll figure it out. Oh. All right. Well, so uh, what else? We got any other updates here with this uh, this uh, coronavirus locally? Um, Looks locally. like uh, we do have um, uh, local cases. We definitely do. Shenango County. Shenango well, County is on, on the map, map now, for sure. Hundred percent on the map. So, everybody, be out, be safe out there. You know. Uh, call your elderly if you're living with elderly you should not be associating with anyone and i'm serious got to do what we got to do to get through this together so uh on a on on some sports news sports news right we'll go with some sports yeah let's hear get it a little positive i'll see if i can uh, pull up something you're talking about well tom brady i'm not looking at anything really but yeah pull up some um tom brady uh is going to sign with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Yesterday I was saying how he sent a message to uh, the Patriot or the fans and everything saying that he's not going to play for the Patriots anymore. He's going to become a uh, Tampa Bay Buck. Buccaneers. Um what else? Oh, the well, uh Jacksonville Jaguars traded their uh quarterback to the Chicago Bears for a draft pick. The Bears. Okay, so uh, Gardner. Uh, this is a, this might be a good moment to uh, throw out there that um, anybody wants to call in our 
call in line if you want to talk about uh yeah sports or if you want to talk about the coronavirus or Anything. if you just want to tell us about uh your latest uh theory or maybe your latest uh dream or something that yeah tell that, us how um, you got your friend to subscribe Anything. we we uh we don't judge here you know any story you want to share we can keep it anonymous um but if you'd like to call in our Call in number is six zero seven three seven three heat. That is still heat. Six zero seven three seven three H E A T. Right. Heat. Waiting on a calls here. The lines are gonna be open now for uh keep them open for another ten minutes or so. Yeah, ten minute open. And uh in the meantime, if you could uh like and subscribe to our channel, that would be great. Um we'd appreciate it. We are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. We'd like to do it. And we think we can do it with your help. So just uh, go down there, hit the like, and hit the subscribe, and then uh, the little bell that gives you notifications. And if you don't have uh, YouTube on your phone, but you have Facebook, what is wrong with you? You need to get YouTube. YouTube. Um, did you pull up the graphic for the uh, cor coronavirus cases in the U.S.? It's back on the... Uh, I guess I can't pull it up either. It's there, but... So you're listening to Manganese Show. Sonic Gardens Radio. All right, here we go. We'll pull up an image here. That happened to our uh, musician in the back? Yeah. We lost our music, man. Yeah, he's Just out in the hall playing. I don't know what happened. Regular. He's out there just jamming out. He got mad, must be. So, there's... Uh, they tell you which countries to avoid during the spread of Kavainer. Or, yeah, Kavainer. <laughs> <laughs> Coronavirus. Um, wouldn't you just avoid everything at this point? You would think so. I mean, uh, kind of would be pretty smart, I All guess. Right. Here we go. We're going to bounce this map over. So here's got, where we're at. Map? Yeah, we got um, still New York State with the most cases at 1,708. Um, this is as of March 18, 2020, and the source is John Hopkins. We have a ton C -S -S -E. of people. Too. We just have so many people. It does not include individuals. Huh. All right. Okay. So, so um, yeah, I mean, they're all over the state. The least amount of states are looking at like North Dakota. Um. Yeah, North Dakota, Alaska, maybe. That's it. Idaho. What? Idaho what? Those are the low ones. Those oh. Are oh, it's still West Virginia. They got a little dot there, so I think they got, like, they're up on, like, one case. Yeah, but are they even testing? Or? Every state. Every state. Every state tests? Mm-hmm. How many has Hawaii got? Uh, Fourteen. Now, it seems, though, that you would hold to it with Hawaii right now, it being out there, an island, you know what Contained. I mean? Contained. Yeah, you would seem like you wouldn't let anything come or go uh, unless you absolutely like food and stuff, right? But that's what I'm saying is even that, like how, how uh, well, yeah. you got to try to feed the people. Well, like I said, I, I, I was talking to my sister today, and she ha she's a teacher in uh, closer to the city. Um you know, upstate near the uh, Hudson. And she um, went into school, you know, and everybody had to sign in. And everybody's using the same pen to sign in to pick really? up their work. So it's like just the littlest things like that that people aren't thinking about. Why wouldn't there just have been somebody like sitting there and thought, we don't want everybody touching anything. We'll sign people in. 
you know, like, well, one person will, will use the pen. So, but, you know, I mean, I imagine people are starting to think about these things, but when you go to the website, it says that it's person to person, but it's also on surfaces and it can stay there. And that's why it's like, wash your hands, wash anything you touch, anything you're, you're using. So, I mean, it's kind of right. gets a little wild. Like I said, we brought down those industrial, uh, alcohol wipes to freaking just try and get everything. But, um, Hey man, I think that, that the reason why everybody's, you know, they're doing these emergencies is because we have to contain ourselves and, uh, and so what better way to contain yourself than to sit here listening to us on our YouTube channel, Sonic Gardens. Give us a, uh, a like, subscribe, so uh, you can be notified of uh, future, future events and uh, podcasts. Did you know that the uh, stock market has erased all of the gains that the great Donald Trump had Are made? Are you looking at that right now? Yeah. I'm looking at a couple of them, but yes. You raced, they're all, all his gains are all but null, no. Which is. Yeah, in like a matter of hours is what I saw. Right. Shit's crashing. I mean, it's like you can, you can do a lot, like. Like, okay. You, you could say a lot of things and all, like, whatever, but if it falls underneath your, like, it's, it doesn't matter. It's underneath. It's un, while you're president. If, you know what I mean? If you're going to claim all the good has happened while you're the president, then you, the bad comes with the good. Sometimes, some, you know what I mean? If you're good enough, you're not going to have the bad. But sometimes you aren't good enough and we have bad, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, uh, you, you 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 can blame other people and stuff like that, but there's no one to blame except for him. you're running it, man. We're not running it. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, two hours ago it says uh, the markets slump as investors alarm persists. The Trump bump in stocks is gone. Ford, GM, Fiat, Chrysler will close their factories in the United States. Investor Bill Ackman advises Trump to shut down the country. Um, huh. This is like uh, a couple hours ago. Yeah. So so basically, we just threw a bunch of money, and even okay. So so let me just try and figure out what happens. We throw we throw two billion dollars at Americans? the stock market, right? right? And they literally, what did, so everybody, like, they pumped it in there. Like, does it get equally distributed amongst, like, uh, whoever's in that bubble of, like, on the stock market? Huh. Which is public companies. Right. So. That's a good question. So then, does that mean that they took, um, okay, let's say there's, like, uh, whatever, a, a, a freaking 10,000 companies, and they divvy up the equal value or whatever to all these companies and then all the investors still scared and know that they just got money pumped into them they take their money out right right so then they say unbuy sell all that and they just take their hit right yeah and then at least they know they're not going to lose any more so that's the fear of it so it seems to me like they pumped two trillion in there and then it got divvied out amongst all these people that chose to withdraw it. And, hey, it's my money. I do what I want. So they're keeping it. Right? Yeah, that sounds like. Am I like. No. I mean, I guess I'm not an expert. Maybe somebody wants to call in. Again, the number is 607-373-HEAT. If you know anything about. Heat. The way this uh, stock market works. But it just seems to me like it's a bailout. It's a, oh, my God, you just lost. Um, a million dollars. Here's uh five hundred thousand, and you know you want to take another chance, and they're like, no, I'm cashing out. And that to me does not seem like it's the same thing. You give everybody a thousand dollars, what are they gonna do? They're gonna go give it to those same companies that just got the bailout. They're gonna make sure they pay their nice egg bill. They're gonna make sure that they pay uh their uh, telecom bill and their cell phones and uh, and etc. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna pump, put gas in their in their cars. I uh, yeah. So yeah, you're pumping into the uh, 
you're pumping into the the economy but you're still just pumping it into the to the people that just got the bailout so then in the end this 800 million that's going to go to the people is just going to go right back to yeah they're going to send checks out and so now we're looking at almost three trillion dollars that was just given away because these these people are supposedly risk takers but it doesn't seem like uh as much of a risk if uh you're getting paid out and you're getting even bail like the, the last bailout where they ended up, you know, when it was all said and done, we bail them out and they were able to give all their uh, executives bonuses and their like and these the people airlines like that they're all their fucking, money. They're fucked. These airlines. Like yeah. They're, but they're going to get bought. They're going to get buy out, though. They're going to get the money You're gonna get the money and all the investors are going to say, OK, I'm going to take it and take it and run. So it's like, like you were saying would. yesterday, though, like. So you can gamble, whatever, lose your ass on the stock market and still, like if you're a big company, and still do just fine. But if you were to do that, you're, you're not just fine. It's like, it's like gambling, but you're going to get your money back. So you're gambling like with house money <laughs> for, the, for the big companies. Yeah. So they're sending checks out. Trump said again today. Well, isn't that? I mean, that's all obviously got to go through. I was listening to something that well, said uh, he said he they was going to sign it tonight. They will if they get the bill to him. They got to. They got to like. Right. It's got to go through the process. And I Congress. think the way. And then yeah, everybody's uh, five hundred billion for two waves of direct payments to Americans and other and another three hundred billion. To help small businesses amid the coronavirus pandemic. But the criteria is going to be, um, you're going to find that the criteria is ridiculous. Well, it said, what I like saw they had, earlier there was is something about under, under 80000 a year. If you make under 80000 a year, you're going to get a check. Well, okay, but what I'm saying is, is the small, like the other part is their... Um, it's also with the small business. It's going to be like under, um, over 500 employees is exempt, and under so many employees is exempt. So it's like the middle area of employees that is going to, and that's ridiculous too. So it's a, it's a, it needs to be. Um, yeah, I don't know. Man. I did see our great. I just don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to work. Other than you know, maintain. It's the same thing. Well, it's, it's the to same help, thing. Well, man. what it is though is to help comfort people at home to know, okay, you're not going to work, whatever. You're going to have a little bit of money. It might help you survive for another week. You know what I mean? Another right. week or two. Like, you're not just not working. You're going to get something. Now, are you going to have to pay the taxes on that money? Like, what's all that? Like, of course. Yes. And then there you have that. So I did see that uh, Andrew uh, Cuomo. He uh, wants all businesses um, to cut down to 50% employees for now. Like, uh, ha not total, but, like, to have them come into work. He doesn't want all your employees at work for, but obviously not for grocery stores and uh, health care. Um, somebody asked him about media, if they should cut theirs oh, in half. Shit. Uh, sorry about that. I had the screen all messed up. And he wrong. laughed at them. Wrong image. So, yeah, you're listening to Sonic Garden Radio. This is the Mang and Need show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're just trying to keep uh, running this uh, update, yeah. you know, daily. And things, you know, it's crazy because things have progressed. If you look back at the last few videos we made, the first one we, we even talked about the coronavirus, we were like, it was literally a debate over whether or not it existed and not a full debate, definitely not. But it was more like everybody's input on, oh, just a scare. Right. And that was, um, you know, two weeks ago. And our, uh, our um, we haven't seen Ryan Warner since then. And Ryan, uh, Ryan uh, bail like that day, he informed everybody that he had canceled his vacation plans to Florida with his family because he didn't want to go to an airport. So... Um, yeah, he was going to drive like, down. Instead. He was kind of the first one, and then some people were saying, "Well, man, I think that's a little, you know, a little scary or a little, little weird, you know, to be that freaked out about it." But here we are, you know, two weeks later, and um, 
yeah, I mean, everybody's feeling that same that same thing. Like, yeah, I, and then they I'm closed schools. Remember Gino was saying, um, talking about closing schools and stuff? And yeah, talking about it, and they're like, oh, no, no, th- way. no way they're going to close schools. No and then way. all of a sudden, boom, schools are closed, and you're going, that's never happened. That's like a dream come true when we were kids. They right. closed school oh, for a month. Oh, my goodness. Fucking month-long uh, snow day. Are oh, you kidding me? Shit. Early summer in this case. And then like, right away. are going to open schools back up. So then again, like I'm saying, then they're like, Until okay. Next. We're not coming back to school. Okay, everybody meet at the school between these three hours, and now the whole town is going to meet at the same place and sign in and go touch and and right. And it, it's just like it's it, it's um Cake we're kind party of we're, to we're, we're totally we doomed do. unless we completely isolate ourselves. Well, and, uh, yes, yes. You know the what happened to Chris? That's what I'm wondering. Well, I don't know. He was being awful shady. <laughs> he was telling me it didn't work over there, and then it was work, and then it worked fine because I was going through, and then he came in and did something again, and then said it didn't work, and then okay, so yeah. and then he's gone. Now he's like gone. Though, yeah. So uh, once again, you're listening to the Manganese Show, Sonic Gardens Radio. All right, hey, why don't I uh, why don't I play you guys another song? Um, give you guys another song off this. Uh, this dealio what do you do you got same band or is this uh what yeah i got the same band right now because i got the video you know so um and these are like fresh new videos so here's another one from that same uh concert and um same set so this was march 15th this was from there you go 2020 little twan 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 uh, what particular number do we have here? Uh, number what? The num n- num the song. What song? What number? Did you guys play? What a oh the name of it. I'm yeah. like the number uh, four. Yeah. Was it four? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, okay. What particular little ditty did you play? This song is another one of our uh, original? original tunes. All right. Man. We like original shit around here. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And this one is called. No Sleep Till Brooklyn? This one's Our Heat oh. Is On. When right. the Heat Is On. And that's uh, another one for our predicament because, you know, the lyrics to this one is uh, When the Heat Is On. Right. I keep rocking all night long. Right. Dance to the rhythm. They don't, they don't do it in the cold. Feel it strong. And I keep moving on. Right, it's the Gloria Stefan song. Like yeah. Fucking a. Dance to the rhythm and feel all right now. Yeah, buddy. Sonic Garden Radio, Mangan Needs Show. Sonic Gardens Radio, Mangan Needs Show. Here we go, bringing it in. Oh, I'm trying to make this thing uh, big. How do we do make that? Make it here? big, folks. While you're home, quarantine. I don't think you're inside the... All right, here we go. Sonic Garden 3. Oh, 
on you You could simply dance away All the thoughts that occupy Can only make it justified On, I keep moving all night long Dance to the rhythm and feeling strong I keep moving, I keep moving Oh, when the heat is on I keep moving all night long Dance to the rhythm and feeling strong I keep moving on Need show. Mega Need Show. Sonic Gardens Radio. That was uh, Shaka performing their song, The Heat Is On, written by Jesse Tressler. Jesse's an amazing songwriter. He, he just knocks them out like uh, out of the ballpark. Good lyrics, good words, good message, good stuff. Good message, good words. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah, good stuff. All those things in one. Here we are. They're running rampant. I'm the man. Needs. Here we are. Sonic, Sonic Gardens. Gardens Radio. What else? Uh, what Sir- else is happening? Syria says. <laughs> Syria says they're virus free over there. Syria's virus free. Yeah. That's what they say. They really don't have a healthcare system over there. It's pretty damaged. Yeah, so they don't they don't they don't have any test kits probably. They probably don't have shit. <laughs> That's another thing like uh they asked Pence earlier how many uh, cuz they kept saying how they have ventilators in uh in storage. Uh-huh. And then he got uh, so they asked President Trump and then he's like I'll let Mike answer that. So Mike got up there, and he was, you could tell he was, fu- it looked like to me that he was fumbling for a number in his head. <laughs> and then he came out and said that we have 10,000, which Ten. is, yeah, which 10, is not. 10,000 what? Test kits? Uh, ve- ventilators, I'm saying. Oh, for people yeah. people when they do get sick and they need ventilators, um, which is not a lot. 
And then, uh, so Trump got back up there and he kept every, he just kept saying, we're going to order more. We're ordering more. Plenty. It's excellent. It's excellent. We're going to beat this quicker than anybody would expect. So he's got high hopes, so. Oh, dude, uh, there was a uh, King Shaka guy that, that liked our Shaka page. That was kind of cool. His name's King Shaka. Really? Yeah. King Shaka. Shout out to King Shaka. King Shaka. Wherever you're at, give us yeah, a call. Yeah, so we're underprepared. We're not ready. Uh, this is not getting better. This is going to get worse as the days progress. And again, I can't advise enough. Although I, I'm, you know, I'm not an expert, but uh, I, I have been uh, looking at what's been happening in other countries, and specifically Italy, where we are kind of following the same model as them and the way that we approached it. Um, and it's not good. It's not good. So U.S. could top as the uh, most infected and end up, uh, uh, you know, all of a sudden no one's allowed to travel. To any countries that are from the U.S., they're going to be like no U.S. people. Jesus. Uh, and this this is like uh, six months, best case scenario, one year before our so economy it, is back on track. Yeah, Italy reported 475 deaths in one day. Um, nearly 3,000 people have died in Italy from the coronavirus so far. And there's been about 30,000 tests, which means 10% of the, or not tests, 37 or 30,000 positive confirmed. 30, how many do you have? 30,000. All right. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's up a couple. It's up to, uh, as of now, um, 35,713. Right. And then how many dead? Um, You said 3,000 something. All right, so... So, in other words, the last time I checked, it was 2,000, and it was 20,000 positive tests. Or, like, you know, I don't... You know, right around there. Either way, it both times, when you just said it, it's still that same 10% number. Right. So, whether or not people have it, they don't show symptoms, and they get over it, and they're not being tested, that obviously increases the number Yeah, so 30... So, 35... Like you said, so 30... Mortality... Like, 35,000, uh, a little bit over that, have tested uh, positive for it, and over a little, and around 3,000 have died. So, so 10% of the people that have had it have died. So that is, the, that is like a real... That's an alarming number. It's an alarming number because if you... And now the other number was they said 40 to 60% of Americans are going to uh, contract it. Right. And then at that point... If 10% of the, well, I guess they say, man, because they're not going to give that, they're not going to have that many tests. So, like I said, it's that same thing. Like, so if you're sick enough, you get tested, you got a 90% chance you're going to make it through. I think they said seven. That's why I don't understand the numbers sometimes. It's all like if you're healthy, then you got a 70% chance. But it seems like if you're healthy, you got, I don't know. man. I don't know. It just seems everything's too high and too alarming to not uh, uh, try to figure out what we can all do to just keep safe and uh, keep sane. And we figure we can run this uh, podcast until they close down the roads. And then we might just have to move in to the studio. In the studio. Sonic Gardens Radio. I'm going to keep giving you guys updates as much as we can. We got uh, needs at the desk. He's bringing up some facts. We lost Chris. We lost our third party. I don't know what yeah, happened. He fucking pulled some shady shit. But he, he's gone. And now he's gone. He ain't never coming <laughs> back. Oh, boy. The world's on fire and fucking... Well, we got this one perfectly at uh, one hour, so maybe we'll wrap this up. All right. And, um... I think we we uh, did what we could to uh, to uh, update the people here, and uh, we hope you can tune in for the next show. Again, we're really trying to hit that 1,000 subscribers, and uh, anything you could do to give us a little like and a uh, maybe you know hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. 
you know, hit the bell and you'll get notified. If you want to just hit the yeah. subscribe button and not get notified, fine, do that too. But, uh, you know, we're just trying to build this thing up and uh, we got music to come. We got more podcasts. We got Sonic's Corner coming on uh, Thursday nights. We'll see. We'll see if that happens, or maybe we'll do a uh, maybe we'll do a call in if everybody feels more comfortable doing that. Yeah. But uh, um, well, we'll probably be here. We're gonna though. probably be here because we're gonna keep this thing we'll going. We'll be live. We're gonna try and keep our crowd down. We're gonna kind of keep ourselves separated. We're gonna try and keep everything clean, and uh, you know, we'll take it from there. And uh, so, uh, wish everybody the most. Love. So we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe an afternoon manga needs. Definitely a Sonic's Corner at night. Sounds good. You're listening to Sonic Garden Radio. Yes, you are. Hey, I'm uh, sporting my uh, Uncle Uku and the guys. Yeah. Uh, edition t-shirt. Fuck yeah, man. With their awesome uh, turtle design. Uncle Uku. And um, those guys are scheduled to come in here yeah, on are. April 25th. They're going to bring the guys. But with um, the way things are going, I don't know how it's going to go. But I think um, I think the, the, the least case scenario is that we can all get together and, uh, you know, be safe. And it just be a band with no uh, crowd, just like anything. And I think we can keep our, uh, you know, keep it under 10 people and keep our uh, our hygiene up to par. But uh, we'll all we'll all figure that out later. Don't forget to we wipe down. We got some time. Don't forget to wipe down. Wipe it clean down. Clean your hands and you stay away from your elderly. Talk Be to them. Out Call there. them on their phones and uh, and keep in touch. But you really need to uh, stay away from people that are older. If you do not know if you have coronavirus, they're already out there price gouging. I just read supermarkets and shit. So. Well, okay, there's the other thing that got me a little uh, a little uh, weirded out was that when I just went shopping to grab a few things, like normal, trying to play it, like, hey, you know, no big deal. Everybody's, you know, you can go out and grab something, being safe. They were um, just completely almost, wiped, out, almost right? wiped out, almost no bread. There was no uh, eggs. There were no, not one leg or thigh of chicken. Uh, the meats were very scarce, uh, down to just like some, you know, pan fry meats and stuff, like oh, everything, man. everything, pat and packaged stuff. There's obviously still a lot of frozen, but there was no, no eggs was weird. There wasn't one single egg. Um, huh. and yeah, there was a, a few other things. Oh, soup was another thing. Canned soup was like, all that was left was like, man, if you got products you know, like eggs and stuff and you can want. get them out, these people are just, whew, it's like. Those people are doing okay, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people that sell that stuff, essentials that you need. Well, the whole thing now is comes down to the delivery. Right. There was a notification that Amazon was going to be shutting off the um, deliveries and to only um, emergency medical stuff. So they're they're did actually. Did you ever get your other order? I did. I got my. I got. I got one other thing. Oh, the rest of my like monthly order. Yeah. Um, I was supposed to get something tomorrow, so I figure anything that was kind of out and about is probably in motion. But um, right. But like I said, moving forward, I imagine if you go on there to buy something now, then the uh, the date isn't going to be the two day delivery like you would you would. Uh, right. I saw some stuff like I was just on there just for shits and giggles and like ordering stuff and some of it like uh, like toilet paper and shit like that. I was just checking it out and it said like. Um, for the ones where you could purchase some, would let you purchase some, it wouldn't deliver until like April 18th till March or uh, May 1st. Oh, okay. There you go. Was your thing to get it, certain yeah. of them. And the ones that were like good prices were all out. And then they had stuff was like uh, 12 rolls for um, 20 something dollars or something like that, 23.99, I think. So, um, same, same thing. I mean, uh, I don't now know. That, how. Is that kind of high or. I never see my problem is when I go buy stuff I I don't look at the price. I just you know what I mean? Well, like, you, you, I just you like shop it like you're like I want that kind. I don't want to pay this much, but right. you don't you don't like think about oh, I that's just the grab going what rate. I want. I don't look at how much it is really. Like I don't I guess that's not good to a point, but you know what I mean? I'm going to get what I want. Um well, see, I'm just my thing is uh, you know, like I drink a lot of coffee, so K-Cups, those are a thing that, like, I have a, a whole, 
methodical way of. I um, don't use them, but I do buy them once in a while. Just yeah, but I and don't. And then I'm I'm very specific because I know which ones are junk and which ones you know, they they might be real cheap, but then they just the coffee's horrible. Oh. And then uh, but then you know I finally discovered there was a Amazon brand like Solamo that oh. was like as good as the Starbucks, and it comes I can get it. I buy a hundred K cups a month. And I and I get them for about thirty cents. Yeah, I can't afford. It. I drink way. I drink way too much coffee myself too to even. Phew. But that's what I mean. I got it How down. How many day do you drink? So I got it down. How many K's a day then? I those got those little it, plastic things. I got it down to about thirty cents a cup. Yeah, but I'm at how many of and those? And then how many do I drink? Like it depends. Like maybe in the morning I'll have two or three cups of coffee, but they're like you know I mean I, I, they're like eight ounce whatever cup of coffee strong. I might yeah, have two so or I three go cups of coffee, and then in the afternoon, you know, another cup, and then I do at the night pots, a cup. Though. So pots it's like, yeah, coffee. maybe six six or seven cups of coffee a day. Yeah, I do that. And then, so and if you water. do that math, you know, it's close. Like, I don't, I, um, you know, give or take on if, I, if I'm if uh, to uh, go through. Last month, I went through my hundred, and I had to go uh, restock at the, uh, the grocery store. Yeah. So I guess that's uh, the next thing, is it just seems like this, if, if the... If the stores aren't restocking or whatever the case, you know, I mean, if they're really shutting it down like that, then it's going to be, it's going to start becoming difficult. I mean, my fridge isn't full and, uh, I mean, I can definitely tap into the things that have been sitting in there that I haven't ate and like keep eating and keep eating. Right. But I just think that this is just the beginning. And I it think, is. Uh, I think we really just need to, um, you know, they say not to stock smart. up, but it would, you know what I mean? If you don't stock up and you listen to them, there's no like reward. Oh, I listened to the government. I listened to them. They told me not to stock up. Now I got a little bit of money to spend, but I can't buy anything. Like, right. You know That's what, what I mean? mean. When, when's the moment going to come where it's like, so what that you got $10 to buy something, but you, you can't know? buy anything. You right? can't buy anything. There's nothing exactly. on, the, on the shelf to buy. And you so, can't, and obviously now you can't order it. So where, where what's going to happen? Like, well, how's that going to go? Well, then that's even more. That's when you become um, more of a police state, right? Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> like then, seriously. And uh, so, in addition, you got uh, they had the run where the pres, where uh, the um, the restaurants were able to do these deliveries and these drive-throughs. But from what I understand, that got cut off too last night. And well, they, they were said, they were still doing it, and like they plant, they're doing it around here. At least they're still doing it. Well, that I mean, I saw somebody that uh, works in a restaurant, and they said that they shut that off at eight o'clock last night, and they were basically like, so maybe they came in again and said, look, you know, no, I, nice I seen try, the, but no. No, I saw a few posts still. They're still doing it today, so I don't know. Like they're definitely, I saw like posts of people saying how um, they're doing it again today. Uh, a place up in Sherburne actually did comment on how how well they did yesterday and how grateful they were for the community. They were e people that even came in to get stuff. Were buying gift cards for other people for down the road and stuff. Right. Well, that's trying all to help them out. Yeah, that's, that's but it only la that's only going to last. So you know what I mean. And um, then the factor with that is that they have uh, they've got their orders of food that they've already got their fridges full. Exactly. And, like, they they've got to do something with this food or they aren't going to be able to sell it. So. Um, they were down. All right, so down in the city. Um, speaking of that, uh, restaurants were taking like the meat and stuff and going out and not cooking it or anything, but selling it on the street to people that, um, you know, what I mean, they weren't gouging them or anything, giving them good pro fair fair market value, but making it so nobody had to like. Even that though, if you're the one person that's going around and communicating with everybody, all of a sudden the thirtieth person you hit is. You just pick it up. Well, I, it well, I saw like where these, these people also, they, like, baked all this stuff and put it out in front of the store and had, a, like, a thing where you can you could just come and take it, grab the box, and go. Right. And I also saw the, the spread-on cardboard. It said, like, it, it's possible, but it's not. It's nowhere near. But they were saying counter, if, but countertops then. Or higher, yes. So it's almost like, man. What is it? I don't think they know. When when we went to that site, and it they and said like if down. it's the airborne is pretty good. Like if it's the spit particles and all that, like that, it can be airborne pretty for I don't know the exact amount of time, but um, it definitely can stay airborne for longer than you would think. You're listening to the Mangan Needs Santa Gardens Radio. All right, we're gonna close this out we're with uh, one out. of the 
one of the songs we recorded. We're just going to play you some audio. We're going to have an audio song right now with some visuals. Mega Needs Show. Sonic Garden Radio. 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 It's 3.45 on a Wednesday. Sun's out. It's going to be a beautiful day Saturday, they're saying. Or maybe Friday. Maybe Friday. Maybe Friday. Beautiful out. Currently 49 degrees out. Feels like 46. There's a southeast wind at about half a mile an hour. As we get into the evening, there'll be an 80% chance of rain. So we're supposed to get around uh, half an inch of rain overnight. All right, this song I'm going to play for you is from uh, one of my favorite albums, Unknown to the World. All right. But known to the community from a uh, rock party at the great Ron Palmer in 1983. All right. This is uh, featuring a song from the RPM dance band. It consisted of uh, my father, Pep. Pep Mariano. Mariano on the Mariano. drums. He's a drummer. And we got Jeff Rasmussen on the uh, guitar? guitar. He plays the guitar. We got Ron part. Palmer. We on got... The, um, on the bass? Steve Cornelius is Ooh. in this. A great, great guitar player. Steve. From Norwich and... Uh, I'm sure some uh, other people that I may have failed to mention if anybody wants to write in and give us the facts on who's yeah. exactly playing in this band. Anyway, this one here is called uh, More To Me. Sonic Garden Radio. Yeah, Sonic Garden Radio. Mega Needs Show. Thanks for listening in, everybody. It's the RPM Dance Band. Sorry for the, uh, any of the, uh, ooh, oh, we got a little bit of a crackle.